Now, Swayze Aviation pioneer Bertrand Picard is developing a plane powered by green liquid hydrogen after a much-hyped flight in 2015 that used sunlight to travel around the world. The new project, called Climate Impulse, aims to circle the globe in 2028 in a lightweight two-seater that runs on supercooled liquid hydrogen, which its makers say could revolutionize sustainable air travel. More about it in our next report. In this unassuming workshop in the west of France, the makers of this plane say it could be pioneer in sustainable aviation. Climate Impulse, a two-seater plane designed to fly around the world non-stop, aims to prove the viability of hydrogen-powered flight. The final version of the aircraft will rely on liquid hydrogen, stored in supercooled tanks, to generate electricity and keep it in the air for nine days without refueling. We take green hydrogen, that means hydrogen that is produced through renewable electricity, liquefy this hydrogen and put it into huge fuel tanks that are the two big fuselage of the Climate Impulse airplane. And in the middle you have a cockpit for two people, Rafael Dinelli and me. And the goal is to fly nine days around the world, non-stop, should be enough to go all the way around and produce zero emissions. It's not Pickard's first ambitious aviation project. In 2015, Solar Impulse, an aircraft powered entirely by sunlight, completed an historic journey around the world. But while the mission showcased the potential of renewable energy, solar flight was never scalable for commercial aviation. The new challenge lies in making liquid hydrogen work in aviation. It's a fuel that has powered rockets but has yet to prove its practicality in commercial aircraft. I am convinced that liquid hydrogen will be a solution for clean aviation in a few years. Today, aviation must decarbonize, so the solution in the coming months, the coming years, is more about fuels, sustainable alternative fuels, a combination of fossil and non-fossil fuels. But to achieve much cleaner aviation, the solution will involve liquid hydrogen. Using electrolysis, hydrogen and oxygen are generated from water. It is a process which will occur on the ground for the aircraft. The second part happens inside the aircraft, using hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity, which then moves the propellers. The technology behind Climate Impulse is still evolving, but its backers, which includes aerospace giant Airbus, hope to advance hydrogen-based aviation research. The aircraft, still in its early development stages, is designed to be lightweight, highly efficient, and capable of flying at altitudes where it can harness energy from atmospheric turbulence. The aim of Climate Impulse is more than just flying a plane around the world with a liquid hydrogen propulsion system. Sure, the objective is to set a record, but it's also to create a demonstrator and transfer this technology to civil aviation or to aviation that has more capacity and more people on board. If successful, Climate Impulse could mark a milestone in the search for cleaner, sustainable air travel. But with technical hurdles still ahead, the scheduled test flight in 2026 will be the real test of whether this technology can pave the way for cleaner, sustainable air travel 